Welcome in this episode of Sternation News 46. Today, I will present a new update on the strange communication about the Starliner astronaut. You know, something happened in the communication and a weird noise was heard. NASA tried to debunk it, but let us hear first High Commander Thoran Eredion talking about it. Also, I will bring you a wonderful, beautiful insight from Anach Prince Ea about the power of prayer. Fasten your seat belts and engage. On September 1st, 2024, the Starliner capsule in orbit of Earth, communicating with ground Houston, received interference, strange interference. That looked, sounded like the pulse of a heartbeat of a, or a sonar pulse. The communication that you are going to hear, nobody knew what it, knew what it was. The, the ground communication um, personnel, the, the person who you hear talking, says he doesn't know what it is. And he says it sounds like a sonar pulse. It is strange. I will submit this to the team as you are going to hear. Well, Thorvan said that NASA was going to debunk it very quickly, and they did. NASA said that, well, we are used to this. It's common interference when we are communicating with space. It happens very regularly. They say it's a interference between space and ground. It's very common. Nothing to worry about. Well, that is very paradoxical because this is not what is heard in the original communication. I will let you first hear what was going on. Houston on two, I've got a question about Starliner. Houston's with you, Butch, go ahead. Uh, There's it's a strange noise coming through the speaker, and I didn't know if you could connect into the Starliner and let me uh, keep mic and let you hear. I don't, I don't know what, what's making it, but uh, I don't know if it's something that maybe is connected uh, between here and there, making that happen, but uh, anyway, can you do that? We can configure that, Butch. Give us a minute, and I'll call you back when it's ready. Okay. Station Houston on two. We're configured for audio via Hardline and CST, if you want to give us a call. Okay, I'm at, uh, I'm at Starliner, and how do you read? Five by five. How many? Okay, I'm going to put some key to my up next to the speaker. Copy. Hear that? At negative, Butch. We did not hear anything. All right, Butch, that one came through. It was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a sonar ping. Yeah, I'll do it one more time, and I'll let you scratch your heads and see if you figure out what's going on. Here we go. All right, over to you. Tell us uh, to figure it out. Yep, good recording. Thanks, Butch. We will pass it on to the team and let you know what we find. And, Butch, just to be make sure I'm on the same page, this is emanating from the speaker in Starliner. You don't notice anything else, uh, any other noises, any other weird configs in there? Okay, thank you. Shortly after this came out in the mainstream news, I also asked my... Uh, Contact in the Galactic Federation of Worlds, Thorhan Eredion. What was it about? He will explain to you uh, better what has been going on. But first, his first message was very interesting.
Now, I have a special guest that is communicating with us tonight, who is U.S. Army Insider JP. Well, JP has had experience with space arcs. And he is someone that can bring a testimony. And this testimony, just listen to it. It is going to, uh, to blow your mind. JP, are you with us tonight? JP, uh, please tell us. Tell us what is your feedback, your opinion, your testimony about this pulse heard on the Starliner, please. What's up, everybody? How you doing, Elena? I'm glad to be here to bring you this information, this thought, and Star Nation News. This is JP. So that sound the astronauts heard in the Starliner, that pulsating sound that everybody's saying it sounds like a heartbeat or something living. That sound brought me flashes of when I was in the interior part of the Atlantic arc and I saw the crystal and I felt that the ship was an organic living thing and that was a pulsating sound that was so similar that I was hearing. And it felt like my whole body was vibrating and my whole body was feeling and interacting and connecting with the Atlantic space arc. So that sound really sounds so similar to the space arc. Alana? Thank you, JP. We are very grateful. And uh, thank you for all the work you are doing, all the missions that you are sharing with us. I advise everyone to read Dr. Michael Sala's books on U.S. Army Insider testimonies, and you will know everything about JP's missions. JP, thank you very much for your service to humanity. Now we are going to hear Commander Thorhan Eredion, what he has to say about this. The recent incident on the Earth-made Starliner capsule is not an incident. I was not involved in that operation, although I did check with our services and the transmission was an order from the High Scientific Officer Denethor. The pulse is the reflected signal of an organic ship's consciousness such as is found in the so-called arcs. The pulse of this ship is the heartbeat of a living and self-aware core engine. What we call Class IV technology. The Galactic Federation of Worlds does not use this type of technology in general. Only highly advanced member civilizations use this type of technology in their vessels. I am familiar with that pulse signal and at first I thought it might have been interference from the activated pulse signal of a nearby arc. But it wasn't. It was a signal broadcast from our XL6 battle station as part of the disclosure project. These particular pulse signals, many of you may hear them at times when arcs on Earth activate. This occurrence only exists if the individual's soul belongs to the specific arc's soul collective. When the fleet of the Intergalactic Confederation entered this star system a few years ago, 
many earthlings heard the activation wave and awakened to their intergalactic identity. Their soul families were back and very near. I believe you have access to the recording of this pulse, so I can invite you to memorize it and observe what it is suggesting to your consciousness. Many of you may suddenly activate memory, which was among the main purposes of this transmission. This is the heartbeat of a highly advanced plasmic consciousness. Even if they do not have a biological heart, these beings have a pulse. If it is sentient, it automatically has a pulse frequency. I told you that NASA would try to debunk it and they were quick at it. Although clumsy, as they contradicted themselves, caught in panic suddenly. This is somehow amusing. The soldier named JP is right as he recognized instantly the truth, identifying the nature of the signal that interfered with the Starliner communications. High Commander Thoran Eredion at service of the truth. The power of prayer is, in truth, your own personal power of manifestation. Through prayer, you create your own reality. You put all your emotion into the manifestation of a reality that you desire beyond everything. You believe you are sending a request to a God, to the universe even, but in truth you are the only one to make it come true. Your wish, it is not the universe that realizes it, but the capacity of your consciousness to imprint a thought into the fabric of the reality of the universe. I am from far away, though I am very near. So is your soul connected to something that you are taught is far away. But in its true nature, you are this very concept, source creator. Imana, an, the eternal, infinite consciousness and source of all creation, even time. You, sentient being, are it, and it is you, for you are a fractal of Imana. Seek, and you will find wish and you will make no one else 
nothing else either will make it for you. Have you yet understood that you are creators? You have the same power as the concept you call God. What is God? It is not an entity. It is not an individuated consciousness. God speaks only the language of frequencies. God creates and manifests only in the essence of love. There are no gods as such. The concept of gods is the creation of sentient beings that are still ignorant of the true nature of creation. Sentient beings have invented the concept of gods and the concept of a supreme god overlooking creation. God is not overlooking creation as a judge. God is the creation. Do you understand? You are God. God is you. This is entanglement. This is power. Infinite power that you hold within your hands, centered in your heart. When you make a wish or prayer, addressing a being or entity that you consider superior to you in power, it is a mistake, an illusion. In truth, you address your prayer to yourself, for if you believe enough in the target and the purpose of your prayer, you will manifest it yourself in this reality. Consciousness is the power of your own essence. Focus on your thought, and your thought will become reality. The times when you believed in gods is over. Now is the time for humans of key to rise into their sovereign power and divine identity. Be your own. Alchemists, transform yourselves in butterflies. We are all powerful sovereign beings. It is not in the nature of consciousness to kneel down in front of anything because evolution works its way by itself, by its own dynamics. Never ever worship anything. Never put yourself down in front of anything that, because you are part of the great cosmic consciousness 
that we call creator, source. This is not a god, nor a goddess. It is you, because you are a part of it, a fractal of it. Ea's wise words remind us that there are no gods. There is only universal consciousness experiencing evolution through all of us. Creator is us and we are creator. And using these words, we are all co-creators of the universe. The power of the mind is the key. Drop religions. This belongs to a state of evolution in humanity that is now revolute. It's gone. So, it is time now to step up on the stage of your realizations, of your own glory. Help the universe, help the other humans and all life on your planet, because you can do it. Be yourself, see what your talents are, and these are the tools you are meant to use to help humanity and all life forms around you. Embrace who you are, standing up on your two feet, looking up at the sky, at the future. This is where you stand. Royal, sovereign, creator, you. See you next week. Star Nation News was brought to you by Elena Dana. Don't miss the latest news every Monday on Elena Danan's channel. Video directed by Steph Zach.